Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Craig, aka Poopy, and today I want to cover a little bit more Mastery Pack Guardian. I touched on this a bit yesterday, uh, covering the Amsterdam keynote, but there's a lot more to talk about here. So let's take a look at what we know so far. Mastery Pack Guardian is going to be 140 cards. Majority will be brand new and mostly for the Guardian class. That's amazing, because it allows us to do Crack Shuffle Play, which came out in bright lights, but wasn't, you know, this is the, this is the evolution of bright lights, um, and I'm all for it. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to have this as a limited option, but not have it be one of our core sets. I think most people might agree that that felt a little bit bad with bright lights having uh, a set that many people felt they could entirely skip because it wasn't relevant to the heroes they play um so i think this is a great path forward i think this is really smart on uh the marketing front they've talked about giving retailers easy answers for new players when they ask where to get started if they like a specific hero so if you say, I really like Bravo, where do I start? This is a great answer. I think this is uh, overall a very exciting development. I want to go into a little bit of what uh, my speculation is as far as these 140 cards. Not which cards specifically, but what the breakdown might look like. So 140 cards is in between the amount of cards that we got in the Round the Table Talarian Community College product and Crucible of War. Crucible of War is the smallest expansion set, and Round the Table is, uh, I, I guess you could say, the largest pre-constructed set. Um, <clears throat> so we're falling in between those. Um, we know that a majority will be new cards, so if we say that two-thirds of that is going to be new, we're looking at 93 cards. If we were to, this is, this is how I would break down those 93 cards. 12 Majestics, 6 Equipment, a Legendary, 2 Heroes, and 24 Playsets of Commons and Rares. And that's just new cards, right? These aren't reprints at all, all new cards. I would say that uh, we do need to have some generics in this set. I hope that they don't do expansion slot. I really hope they don't do expansion slot because I really want to be able to truly crack shuffle play these decks um, with these packs. Uh, okay. So when we're looking at this, I hope that we're, when we say mostly Guardian cards, the ones that we are, not, uh, are referring to that aren't Guardian are generics. Um, I think that we could expect most of them to be Guardian, so I'm going to say about nine and about three generics. I think all of the equipment, the Legendary and the Heroes, those are all going to be Guardian. And then we might have a couple of play sets of uh, generics uh, in Rare, and, you know, I'm looking at this now, and I think, I think that number will be quite a bit higher. I think having only nine uh unique generics is a bit low but if we were to take this breakdown we would have about 29 new guardian cards unique guardian cards so i'm i'm saying blue red and yellow of the same name card is one unique card um and then about 12 generics and then uh that would leave us with about 46 cards that are old cards and uh, oop, I would say those probably break down six Majestics, so we get our Crippling Crushes, um, maybe Nerves of Steel, Terra Sunder, uh, maybe one piece of equipment, just a Titan's Fist or something in there. A Legendary, I think that'll likely be uh, the Chest Piece. Two Heroes, probably bring back Betsy, bring back Bravo. And... 12 play sets of common and rare. I'm going to say right now that I think that'll be more like eight and we will have uh, the rest made up for 
in the generic uh, commons and rares. Um, where are we at here? Okay, so those would be our reprints. Uh, so what I see people saying right now is that they're worried that there's going to be too many cards introduced to a class at once. And uh, if I'm going back through here, if I'm close to correct, uh, then we're looking maybe around 30 new Guardian cards, 12 new generics. I'll say it's, prob it's, it's more likely that we probably get 40 to 50 new Guardian cards if we want to say that um, we have less reprints, right? Because I just went with two-thirds, but it could be quite a bit more, you know. Um, so about 40 new cards uh, for Guardians. And if we're playing multiple heroes in this environment, then they're going to be broken up into archetypes. And so I just thought I'd put this video together kind of saying it, it's unlikely that we're going to get such a massive influx of cards for Guardian that uh, it's going to be a problem. And one of the reasons is Heavy Hitters was the beginning of this year. Mastery Pack Guardian, I believe, is coming out spring of next year. There will be a full year in between, and I think that this signals that we probably won't see a lot of Guardians in Limited uh, next year. It's very likely that we go back to Volcor, and maybe there's no Guardians there. So I think that the numbers actually look a lot more tame than when you just see 140 cards. Um, it's going to be a pretty small set. Uh, and for that reason, I really hope they don't do the expansion slot because I don't think this is a set that people should be cracking if they're not interested in Guardian, unless you follow that cracking up with a shuffling and a playing. Um, and anyway, that's all for this video. It's a short one. You might not be aware of this though, but we have a Discord. It is public. It is available for you to join right now for free. So I am going to leave a link to that in the description below, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!